the, the months after the start of the war, and that's the full-fledged war in Ukraine, because the war started 10 years ago in 2014, um, that, that period when the EU did what they are strong at, and NATO did what it's strong at, uh, then the synergetic effect of those two organizations were remarkable. And I think it, it surprised us, but it also surprised the Russians and it surprised the Chinese. So I think that is uh, a moment where we stop talking about strategic autonomy and things that are sort of about a competition between NATO and EU. Because strategic autonomy sort of gives the impression that, that Europe can do without the US, and I don't believe that. The US needs Europe because we're the biggest uh, trade partner of the US, and Europe needs the US. Uh, there's 100,000 American soldiers in Europe at the moment. If you combine the um, armies of the larger nations in Europe, you hardly get there. So uh, we have to understand we need the US. And uh, I, I don't know whether there will be a question about uh, President Trump to be or not to be. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not that worried. Uh, and I think uh, the US as a country has a great interest in NATO in Europe. Uh, but we need to make sure that the nations invest enough in their own armed forces. That is the, the biggest point of critique.